Matt Ryan back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Matt? I'm doing great, Rich. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Love having you on. Nine years, Matt. That's a long time. You're almost pushing double-digit years in the NFL. That's incredible. I uh, know. It goes by in a blink, man. It really does. I can't believe it's year nine already. What do you think of when you see somebody like Carson Wentz coming off the campus at North Dakota State going 2-0 and and Dak Prescott performing like this uh, about remembering when you first started in the league? Well, yeah, it's impressive. You know, I know how, how hard that transition is, how difficult uh, it can be. I think both those guys have done a great job. I haven't really seen Dak play all that much, but got a chance to watch uh, a little bit of the Monday night game for, for Carson Wentz. And he looked good, man. He, he really did. He played well and uh, competed and threw the ball well. So a uh, really good start for those two guys. So do you remember your first touchdown? Do you remember that? I, I do. I do. It was actually my first pass. First pass in the NFL. That's correct. Do you so, remember? Uh, do you remember? Yeah, Mike Jenkins on a skinny post on the backside. I remember it. Do you remember how many yards it was? How many yards it was? Uh, I do know this. I think it's 62, 62 yards. Look at you, Matt Ryan. <laughs> Look at you. That's probably the only one I remember the actual distance. Well, I, rem- I remember my first broadcast in Redding, California, the day I, I lost the keys to the news car uh, when I was shooting the video <laughs> of the high school game. So I guess you should remember the 62-yard touchdown pass to Michael Jenkins. That's right. That's exactly right. I know. And now you're here in your ninth year after a, a very nice win on the road in Oakland. What what? What kinks, I guess, are you working out with this offense in the first month of the season? What What are you working on as you get in to New Orleans for this big game on Monday night, Matt? Well, I, you know, I think the the thing for us is is uh, you know we've got to still get a little bit better in the red zone. Uh, I thought we did a nice job in Oakland, um, made some plays, we're we're able to punch the ball in in the red zone, but uh, it's something that we haven't been at our sharpest in that area. So we got to continue to try and get better down there and come away with more touchdowns. Well, I guess you need to have more ricochet passes off the hands of Tevin Coleman then. Directly. I think, yeah, I think we just need to start designing all of our plays <laughs> like that. <to laughs> it's the way, that the, it's the way you drew it up. That's the way you drew it up. That's the definitely. So um, who is, would you say, the starting running back of the Atlanta Falcons? Matt. Jeez, I mean, both our guys are are so good. I mean, it's it's to me, it's a one A one B. I mean, these guys are both talented. You know, Devonte had a monster year last year. Tevin was nicked up at certain times, but you know, when we've got both of those guys going and healthy, uh, and they're fresh for the entire game, I think that makes it extremely difficult on the defense to defend us. All right, I, I'll I'll cop to having Tevin Coleman on both of my fantasy teams. Matt, help me out here. How many carries is he going to get? <laughs> Come on now, let's get up to it. What do you got for me? Anything? <laughs> Uh, I think he's going to have a few, man. He, he had a great run okay. uh, this past week to get in the end zone. I think both those guys are going to score a lot of touchdowns. I hope so. Mm-hmm. And now, what what is it like to prepare for a game in the Superdome? It's loud. You know, that's that's probably the biggest thing I've learned throughout my career is that communication uh, is difficult down there, particularly in night games. And so uh, it's going to be important for us. I think last week was a good tune-up for us, playing in Oakland. That's a loud place, tough place to play. They can uh, – they can get rowdy, so the communication, you know, needs to be on point. And, and I think we'll be better served to head into New Orleans uh, because of our experience out in Oakland last week. Matt Ryan joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Now, I don't talk politics with, with, with people, but would you – are you going to – uh, DVR the debate. You know the debate's going on while you're playing on Monday night, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just found that out today. Um, you know, so I, I'll just, I'll just uh, do a quick Twitter search or something like that the next day to see the highlights of it. But okay. No DVR for me. No DVR for you. Focused on what's going on on that field for. Yeah, that's it. That's it. For week three of of Monday night football against the Saints. So, what goals do you talk about in year nine? I mean, what what do you? How how are you? focused on uh, being the goal-oriented person that you are in year nine of being in Atlanta? Well, I think the biggest thing for us is it's a, it's about, you know, consistent improvement. I've been on teams where we've played really well at the beginning of the year and not as well at the end. I've been on teams that, you know, have been up and down and inconsistent. But the best teams I've been on, you know, are, are, are the ones that have continued to get better uh, week in and week out throughout the year. And, and that's, that's the goal for me and, and the goal for our offense is, uh, to just get a little bit better every week uh, and, and try to improve as we move throughout the season. And in terms of being a team leader, so much has been discussed about Jay Cutler after Monday Night Football, and we always talk about body language with him and whether that's something that the team picks up on or it grates on the team. What is your philosophy on that? Well, you know, I, I think it's, I think body language is important. And, uh, you know, that's something that at the quarterback position I've always tried to focus on. I think no matter, you know, who you are, 
uh, when you get into that huddle, guys are looking at you. And so for me, uh, that's something that, that, you know, I work hard on to, to try and have uh, the demeanor that the guys can look to and, and understand that we're going to have solutions and we're going to figure things out. And, uh, you know, I think that starts with the way you prepare and, and, and how you handle things during the week. And it carries over to in-game situations. But that's a huge point of emphasis for me. What about in the post-game podium, too, Matt? Well, you know, I think that's that's one thing. Everybody's personality is a little bit different. And, uh, you know, I, I think you need to be yourself, whatever that is. Uh, and I think guys pick up on that pretty quickly. If you're, if you're fake or you're not being yourself, to me, uh, you know, teammates, et cetera, they, they filter through that pretty quickly. So, I just try and be myself up there, and uh, and the guys know who I am. Well, spoken like a true natural, right there. <laughs> That's no. right. We need that, that nickname to take off. Well, you know, look, look, I, I, I'm, you know how much I like you, Matt, but I'm going to have to point the finger in the direction of number two here. Okay, <laughs> I need a little help. I've tried uh, all I, I need, can. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think it's all it falls on me. I haven't done a good enough job promoting it. Well, I mean, you've talked about it when we're on here, but I don't believe you've. Fully embraced that over Matty Ice, Matt. <laughs> I don't. Th- I think it's the fan. I mean, to me, it's the. It's there are some passionate fans of, of, about the the Matty Ice nickname. So, um, but I'm with it. I'm with it. Whatever it works. Okay. Well, help me help you to use the old phrase. You know, help me help you. That's all I'm trying to say, Matt. Unless you don't look, it's I'm fine. I'll, I'll give you just like one last chance to say you don't like it, and I won't take it personally. Just go ahead. I, I I don't mind it. I think it's a good nickname. Okay, fantastic. Well, you're 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 out here. You're out here on December 11th, week 14 against the Rams, and your coach Dan Quinn has, I think, offered for me to be an honorary coach to address the team. I mean, I can do that for you too, Matt. We can address <laughs> this then at that point in time. Would you be up for that? I mean, yeah. You talk to the guys about. I, I want to see what their reaction will be to that. I'm looking forward to, to hearing this rah-rah okay. uh, pep talk that you're going to deliver. Well, I did it for Michigan, and they put it on Central Florida a couple weeks ago. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit different uh, level of competition in, in college than there is in the NFL. <laughs> a, little really? tighter, <laughs> a little bit tighter in the NFL. So I think you need to be stronger with that. Okay, the corners can close quicker, right? Basically is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, the speed of the game is different. Matt, thanks for calling in. Uh, have a good game on Monday night. I appreciate it, Rich. Thank you. You got it. That's Matt Ryan of the Atlanta Falcons here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.